Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £200 of the 10 P's to have a hunt through looking for those elusive Alphabet 10 P's. We have got some bag bags here and then also we've got sealed bags so it'd be nice to get another comparison. We had that last week didn't we? But 2019 is the year we're after. 2019 is the only book we haven't filled. We've got good progress with the letters C, E, F, G, uh, H, J, K, L, M, O, R, T, U and V. Uh, all ticked off but plenty more still to find but because these were prohibitively scarce in terms of how many were minted we started a second 2018 book to see the progress we can make before we finish the first 2019 book so we've got the letters a c e f g l n o p u and v so again a lot still to tick off in this book too but without further ado let's get into these bags oh have i turned this on i have well done good start so we're going to jump into some questions then. These are questions left on one of my previous giveaways, the unclaimed prizes that uh, I think there's a whole bunch of uh, silverproof two pound coins and the Benjamin Bunny silverproof that finally got a home. Um, so uh, before we jump into that though, a massive thank you to all of the uh, new subscribers that have recently joined my channel. As of recording, um, I've in a week gained almost 4,000 subscribers, which is absolutely mad. Um, after poodling around, uh, the, uh, the channel's still growing, just still doing well, uh, to hit this moment uh, has been very surprising and I'm very, very grateful and um, the, the amount of kind words that people have been sending me and contacting me and giving me feedback on the videos, I am uh, blown away and uh, very, very grateful. Um, the algorithm is smiling on me at the moment, <laughs> but uh, you make hay watch the sun shines. So anyway, um, we're going to get into some of these questions then. Our first question comes from Terry Cartwright. Says, "Well done on your fantastic channel. Keep up the good work, Christopher. We'd like to go to the Royal Mint. Do you know when it's reopened? It's open now. Uh, I think they've got limited hours. There might just be weekends, Fridays and weekends. I think I'm not 100 percent sure. Don't quote me on that. Head on to the website and check it out. The strike here at the moment is the 50 years uh, anniversary decimalization day. Um, no idea when it's going to change. I hope it changes soon because I'd love to get back down again. Um, Matthew Harrington says, uh, just to let people know." that there does appear to be some old stock two pound coin bags knocking around, namely original Royal Mint bags of uncirculated Shakespeare 2016 coins. Yep, these are full mint luster babies. <laughs> Clearly been sitting in the vault somewhere for four years, happy hunting people. I totally agree. Yes, we've seen a whole deluge of um, seal bags of Navy Centenaries, Great Fire of London's, Britannia's, Shakespeare's apparently. I've not had any sealed Shakespeare bust yet, but uh, they are doing the round. So uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled because they are very cool coins. Um, next we've got Harry Embleton, uh, who says, "Amazing giveaway again, Christopher. Whose reign would you have liked to? Whose reign would you like to have been alive for, if not Queen Elizabeth II?" It's a good question. Um, I am always hesitant and loathed to want to go back and live in the past, especially if I'm conscious of what is ahead, in the what is now the present, what would be the future, because without my smartphone without the internet um without star wars without all these great great creature comforts i've come to know and love and a part of my everyday life um i would hate not having all of these things obviously i know people can live and survive without technology without all their creature comforts but i don't want to lose all my creature comforts um Maybe if, if this is, uh, do I get a, a another, oh, even if I wanted a re-roll of the dice, I would pick a monarch way in the future. I want to see what happens in the future. But uh, I guess for the sake of having the longest life, uh, Queen Victoria, uh, the other the longest reigning monarch other than Queen Elizabeth II, I guess. Not sure. I think it would be quite interesting. But yeah, the, I mean, the state of like medical science, I don't want to sacrifice on that and catch one of these horrible victorian diseases and croak it <laughs> it's a hard question to ask uh, but there's some lovely coins actually to be had in that in that rain so anyway um howard 49 hp says really enjoy watching your videos great work great giveaway uh, my question is uh, do you actually find time to have a drink with some friends as your workload seems excessive so yes um, uh, for many of you that may not have seen previous videos um in addition to doing youtube i work full time um and yes i fit youtube in my evenings and weekends i do i have got much better at carving myself some time just to do nothing uh, there was a period where i was absolutely slogging myself to death and it was horrendous and i was exhausted every moment of every day um but and i cut a couple of things out specifically my live stream 
um, that I was doing every week and because that had the smallest impact on the channel but the biggest impact in terms of freeing up time in my life but yeah I've had um, much more time I make sure I give myself weekends off apart from Sunday evenings I do record some videos but uh, that's the generally the coin hunts which are some of the most fun things to have a hunt through and I can't just sit on the coins from Friday all the way to the next week before opening them but yeah I make sure I am making sure especially now we're in these weird situations these weird times which hopefully are coming to them very very soon um yeah it's more important than ever just to have a break and to smell the roses but yes um the other thing is I don't like idling, I don't like sitting doing nothing. Um, but also whilst I'm editing videos, uh, very often I will sit on my voice chat over on Discord, link down in the description if you're over 13, come and join it. A little bit of self-promotion. Um, but yeah, so um, I spend a fair bit of time chit-chattering to uh, people that were viewers who've become friends because I speak to them on such a regular basis. Um, and so even when I'm doing sometimes working, I hate, I hate to call... The YouTube element of my life working because it's more play than it is work sometimes yes I've got to do things that aren't as interesting and maybe take a bit of time but um, it's worth it in the long run to see people's reactions to the videos and the kind messages of support and uh, the growth of like the channel is, is bumping up at the moment really well so anyway yeah YouTube is play work is work oh we got one D for double decker bus what a beauty and it's a 2019 as well. Woohoo! <laughs> Exceptional stuff. I think. Um, next up, Phil finds and collects. Says, hi Christopher, great giveaway. Australian coin collector here would love to have UK coins in my collection. Is there a country whose designs make you want to visit that country? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I will collect any coins from anywhere I can lay my hands on specifically in terms of coins that I would like to be able to go out and hunt for I know that they are common out there I know they're nothing special but I would love to hunt through uh, American quarters and get myself a whole set of the state and park reserve quarters they are beautiful coins and lovely and because I don't see them often that makes them even more appealing uh, I appreciate that they're like, probably like the Benjamin bunnies of your pocket change over in the states but I think they're really really cool and I would love the opportunity to hunt through them so I would love to go to America to do that Canada and Australia as well some beautiful coins absolutely lovely coins especially the ones with bits of color I am getting very very jealous of those of you that have circulating coins with color on it and I hope and pray that the Roman decides to do that at some point well, obviously we have got color coins um, coins that have been minted like the bunk coins brilliantly uncirculated unfortunately coins that have got color decals on it silver proofs um, if we had some color in our change in the UK I think that'd be really really cool uh, Ronnie Beale it says I think old coins are pretty interesting but I don't know what might be affordable and fun place to start off any suggestions Christopher uh, yeah so um just because they are old coins doesn't mean they're expensive it depends how old you're talking I guess um, I mean even if you wanted to I, I've looked at in the past for potential video ideas buying a bag of Roman coins and um, trying to identify them but um, and again, it's it's in, it's interesting that they are fairly affordable. Uh, you can, especially if you're just looking for pre decimals from, say, I don't know, the mid 1800s up to the, uh, the early 70s, well, in late 60s, the early 70s when they changed over. Um, yeah, they're, they're they're affordable because they were minted um, by the metric ton. <laughs> there is a lot of them. Uh, obviously, there are there are some that are very low minted that you won't get, but a lot of them are very very common. Um, but yes, I guess have a look at eBay. Some grab bags, some random assorted coin collection bags. That's what I used to do. Uh, next up, we've got Ged Gray. Says Christopher, if you had a hand, I have two hands. If you had a hand in designing the UK coins, what shape coins, and what value would it be? A new UK coin, any shape, any shape, any shape, any shape. Wow. Uh, Hmm. What denomination would it be? Uh, 25 pence, a quarter, a quarter pound. Um, and it would be um, an interesting shape, a different kind of shape, maybe triangular. I think that'd be cool. Or square, it's a bit too circular. Um, <laughs> I, I, I realise, having said that, that makes no sense. But yeah, a triangular coin. I don't think there's any coin, any shape so more, so more different than what we are circulating coins are, other than maybe a scalloped coin, that'd be quite cool. Maybe a scalloped coin, a scalloped triangular coin. Um, 
Nick West says, great channel, thank you very much. My question is, what's your view on cryptocurrency and do you collect any? <laughs> I have the Vegas overview understanding of cryptocurrencies. I, I do not partake. It's it's um, it's uh, it's just a gamble, isn't it? It's so volatile in terms of the ups and the downs, the ups and the downs, and um, the the external factors. I, I follow the news pretty religiously, so you, all, I, all I read about is Elon Musk said this, China have decided to do this, and that, that means cryptocurrency is either skyrocketed in value or it's crashed down to the floor. And um, yes, I think uh, it's too much of a gamble. I'm quite happy with my physical cash money uh, collecting the commemorative ones. Um, but yes, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's, 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 it's far too complex. I don't really understand it. So um, yes, I've never had a Bitcoin. I don't, not that many people have now, given the value of them. But I remember when the Bitcoins were very new, thinking, oh, that's quite neat. Uh, but yeah, never thinking about purchasing one because yeah, never really understanding what they were. Um, Debbie Ola says, this is very generous of you. I've collected special coins for a while now, mainly because I like to see all the different ones. Question, is there a list of 50p's and two pounds anywhere so I can see which ones I'm still missing? Jemima Puddle Duck is still eluding me. Oh, I know how you feel. My 50p coin hunts are still missing, Jemima Puddle Duck. Um, lists of where of coins available. You can check on the Raw Mint website. They've got a great big database of all the coins that they've uh, minted or, or circulated and how many were minted. Change Check is another great place. They've got a great app. Uh, there's tons of different apps you can get on um, your phone to track all the different types of coins and then the, if you wanted to maybe broaden your horizons further than the uk mainland coins i highly recommend new mister uh, i use it in my world coin hunts every sunday so tune in tomorrow for that um uh, yeah it's just a database of basically every coin ever uh, there's i think there's been one or two cases where i have i've got a coin which has, doesn't appear on new mister and it's normally a brand new release or like a variant release so you know we had silver proof dinosaurs that were colored and not colored um and one or the other wasn't on the um wasn't on new mister but is now on there so yeah it's a user controlled and generated site and i highly recommend it um pocket change through time says do you have old do you have many old coins and would you shout out my channel if i sent you some for the peer box opening <laughs> well there's your little shout out pocket change through time on youtube um do i have old coins uh yeah i've got a whole whole host of old, old coins i think so i've got um my oldest coin is a mm, now we're getting now we're testing ourselves uh was it 766 677 bc macedonian i think um but yeah my oldest uk coin is a 1707 queen anne crown i believe it was uh, it's a beautiful coin uh, but yes i will any coin uh, any denomination of any time of any country any era um there's a place in my collection for it definitely uh mac moore says what is your favorite chess piece hmm, favorite chess piece so I used to play chess a little bit when I was a kid. I am hopeless and rubbish at it. So uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say on chess. But um, I don't know. I've got a lovely Star Wars. Uh, well, actually, I've got a couple of different Star Wars chess sets, uh, and I'm always drawn to the the Darth Vader character. Which Darth Vader is normally the queen in the <laughs> Star Wars chess set because the Emperor is normally the king. Uh, so maybe the queen. I would lean towards the queen. Um, but my least favourite is the castle because it's called the castle and the rook and it always confuses me some people call it the rook some people call it a castle yeah i think that's the one is it or is it the bishop can't remember anyway that's my least favorite at least um hi my name is pip says are you excited for the next season of mandalorian oh mandalorian season two or assuming it's finished by the time you get to this question what did you think of this mandalorian season two i loved it uh, season one was phenomenal season two was amazing and i cannot wait for season three that's next year isn't it we get the the Boba Fett TV show later this year, which again, it's going to be so good. Well, let's not just assume it's going to be so good, uh, but I, I'm fairly confident that I will enjoy it. There's so much awesome Star Wars stuff coming. I'm a massive Star Wars fan and I cannot wait uh, to ingest more Star Wars in my life. I am burning through all the audiobooks because I got somewhat behind on the on the, on the 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 book releases of Star Wars because it just, I didn't have time to read through a physical book, but now I found audiobooks. Oh my goodness, I am chowing my way through uh, my the backlog that I've missed and I'm loving every moment of it. There was one I didn't really like. What was it? The Twilight Company? No. That one was a bit, mm, but it got better. And But the one I didn't get on with was uh, Alphabet Squadron. It's just a bit, no, the characters didn't speak to me. There was too many characters. I couldn't keep track of them all. Um, maybe I need to go back and re-listen to it. But yeah, anyway, next 
William McDonald says, thank you for offering these wonderful items. If on some long odds my name is picked, what would what uh, what would be best is the Paddington coins. My brother is a big fan in his youth. Oh, that's very cool. I might, well, my favorite Paddington is Paddington at the station. Um, I've got a soft spot for Paddington at the tower though, because we won Mintage Wars in 2019 with Team Tower. Uh, one more question. June uh, Cleverly says, lovely gifts, a little question. When you get lots of coins in a hunt, do you keep them all or are you more selective and only keep over face value? A comment on your face, uh, a comment on your face in videos. Please can you alter where you put the coins, move a little to the sides, some are hiding behind your face. Nice to see you on the channel though. You say, yes, um, so I think this is this is 10 months ago that comment was posted and I was still getting to grips with having my little, well, it's in this corner, isn't it? For um, is it or is it reversed? I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> whatever corner it is I'm in, I was blocking off some of the coins and I have now been more mindful of where I put the coins, where my face is gonna go on the videos. Um, so I keep any coins that are over face value, that are Christopher Ironsides, or we don't know mintages for. The rest go back into the bank so I can get more coins out. I wish I had deep enough pockets to keep everything, but unfortunately I do not. Well, uh, you know what, one more question. Andrew Fraser says, Holy Toledo, have you ever been to Toledo, Christopher? An invitation from the mayor of Toledo, perhaps. How cool would that be? I've never been to Toledo. I've been to Spain once in my life and uh, I, I didn't go to Toledo, no. But uh, I think going to Toledo is definitely got to be on the cards at some point. Anyway, with that being said, let's get back to the call. Well, there we go. Our finds for today. An old five pence from 1989, that was, which I almost skipped straight past. Uh, almost missing that, but uh, glad I didn't. And then the letter D for double decker bus. It's 2019 and it's a new one as well, which means we get the pleasure of inserting the D into its spot. So, let's just check this is the 2019 book. It is the 2019 book. In it goes, filling up this page quite nicely leaving a couple of uh, missing ones there, but superb stuff. For those of you that have watched this find the video though, you might be interested to know that I have a Discord server. You can click the link down in the description to come and join that if you're over the age of 13. That's Discord's rules, not mine. Alternatively, uh, you can catch me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and there's the PO box you can write into if you so wish to, but as ever, all that leads me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.